Hello everyone and welcome back and we are on a roll this week. Actually today we're on a brioche bun. Sorry, that was not, that was not necessary. But we are though, it's true because, oh hold up. I can get the thing out the bag. We went to Buddy's Burgers. A couple of housekeeping things while we set this up. For one, if you don't know, we are on a quest to find the best burger in Florence. And you can see the list that we've got so far on your screen. I think there's like seven that we've hit so far. And I do have Buddy's Burgers in first place still to this point in time. We've already ranked Buddy's, so that's not what today's venture is about. What you may not know is that Buddy's Burgers does a monthly special. All right, so every month they drop a special. And I like the fact that they, they really get creative with these. Some of these are really creative that they do. But some stand out to me more than others and draw my attention. Now this is what they're calling their jalapeno popper burger. And it's the patties with what they call a jalapeno pepper spread. It's hard to say. Bacon, lettuce, and then a house chipotle lime mayonnaise. So this had my name all over it because if you name something jalapeno popper, I'm probably in to begin with. The other thing I got to go with these is a chip that I never had that I thought might flavor well with them, habanero lime. So, with no further ado, let's check out Buddy's, huh. Interesting, there's a hint of something strange. We'll come back to that. All right, Buddy's Jalapeno Popper Burger September Burger of the Month. I'm telling you, man, they just, hey, they're number one on my list. And I know some people don't agree. The smash burger can be hit or miss. I've seen like, you've got people that will say they have a smash burger and it's not, it's not a smash burger at all. Then you've got people that they do have a smash burger, but it's, it's just not executed well. Buddy's just nails this. Like every time they've got it down to a science and they do a good job. So let's go through this real quick. It's the brioche bun first and foremost. It really is one of the things that will stand out to you first when you get a Buddy's burger that, um. The brioche bun's really nice. The patties are done really well. They're crispy on the edges. They're seasoned pretty well. And then of course you can't go wrong with the bacon. I had a pretty good hit of spicy just a second ago. I'm assuming that was a piece of jalapeno. You're not gonna be able to see these, but uh, there's actually little chunks of the jalapenos in there that you can see. And I did taste on one of those bites, just a little flash of the acid from the lime, the chipotle lime mayo coming through. Now I will say there's not quite as much of the unique flavors for this burger coming through as I was hoping for or expecting. I'm mostly just getting bacon cheeseburger, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with, but I would have liked to have had just a little bit more of the, the jalapeno popper spread, whatever that is, which I'm assuming it's almost like a, it's not pimento cheese, but it kind of looks like that. Cheese and chunks of jalapeno. Some of it's just distribution because some places have more of a pop of the mayo flavor than other places do. Yeah, so I think if you go get this, you're not gonna be disappointed with the burger itself because they, they really do such a good job that they're currently number one on our ranking. But I am gonna say that you might be a little disappointed at the lack of the flavor pop in contrast with the ingredients that are listed. So the, the chipotle lime mayo is faint. It has its moments depending on how it's distributed on the burger, certain bites more than others. But the jalapeno aspect, other than a really low heat, and again, we've talked about this a lot on the channel, my heat tolerance may be different than yours. Keep that in mind. My heat tolerance is pretty high, but it's very low heat. But even for you, even if the heat level was less subtle and more pronounced, that still would be, that would be it. There's not really like a flavor of jalapeno spread that I'm getting. But at the end of the day, you've got a Buddy's bacon cheeseburger, so you really can't go wrong. But I was definitely drawn to this one because I used to love the jalapeno poppers when I was a kid. Like I remember when they first started bringing those out at the fast food restaurants, and my two favorite were Burger King's and um, Captain D's jalapeno poppers, which were really similar. I think Captain D's still has the same ones, but I'm pretty sure they've fallen off by this point in time as a whole. I was never really a big fan of Arby's jalapeno poppers, but I would get them. But I like the cheddar cheese approach better than the cream cheese approach that they deploy over there at Arby's, which I think they still have those too. And so from that standpoint, this had my name on it. 
if I went back to Buddy's in the month of September, which I might, would I get that burger over the regular Buddy's burger? I don't think so, but it's definitely worth trying and that's not a knock on the burger. It's just, I mean, I've said it three times now, but I've got their regular Buddy's burger ranked as my number one burger in Florence. So something's gonna have to be really good to pass that. It's worth trying, not bad but at least the one I had, don't expect some rush of these flavors that you may expect whenever you look at what's on it. It's really just a bacon cheeseburger with a slight pop of acidity in the mayo and a low heat. These chips, um, not so much. These, for some reason, they taste like Trix cereal, the one with the rabbit, silly rabbit tricks are for kids, that one, with no sugar and an even more faint acid pop. In fact, these chips claiming to have lime highlights that albeit the lime pop and the burger is faint, they did a much better job of actually giving you what you thought you were getting than these chips did, because there's none of it in here. So as a matter of fact, we're done with these. Well, there you have it, folks. If you haven't been to Buddy's, you need to go unless you just absolutely despise the Smash Burger, which I think they do extremely well. If you don't like their Smash Burger, you probably just don't like them at all. And I guess I understand why some people don't like Smash Burgers. I, I don't can't say that I agree at all, but I understand. But if you are even remotely into them, then you definitely want to go check Buddies out. And yeah, check the Jalapeno Popper Burger out this month in September. Uh, it's good. They certainly didn't put a product out that's not good. It just didn't do everything that I thought it was going to do. And that's okay. So with that being said, we're going to wrap this one up. I hope y'all are having a great week. I look forward to seeing y'all around. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. We really do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for future content. And as always, I wish y'all all the best. Y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.